Hi guys, hope you're going well. Today I'm talking about the Dutch psychological thriller Borgman. This is from writer-director Alex van Wasserdam and I haven't seen any of his movies before unfortunately and I'm not going to go ahead and say any of the actors names because I'm totally going to massacre that but this movie is about a vagrant who manages to implant himself into a family's home. So they take him in and he just lays down the roots and doesn't let go. He manages to pit them against each other and just psychologically terrorize them from the inside out. And this movie is all kinds of confusing, creepy, and entirely unpredictable. It took me a while to really get into this film. I thought originally that we were following just a regular straight up narrative, following this man, Borgman, as he tries to get to know this family. He doesn't want to leave. Maybe he had some mental instability or something like that, but he didn't seem like a particularly like nasty guy or anything. So when things start to go weird I got a little bit lost and I didn't know what was happening like why is he being so cruel or mean to this family why does this family not ask him to leave and and kick him out like I wasn't understanding why people are doing these things and acting the way they are I mean I'm so used to the narrative Hollywood conventional type of storytelling so coming into this it was a little bit strange but you just have to put all of that aside and take this film uh, as it is and not question the motivations and the whys of why some of these people are acting how they are because then you'll just get caught up it it really wasn't until I started approaching this film from a fantastical like perspective okay so what if this film is more of like a metaphor what if it is a in fact like a fable or more of a f like a folklore type of story I mean in the movie Borgman is actually telling the children a fable himself he's telling them a story and that's when I sort of clicked maybe he's telling them a story maybe he is part of the story maybe this whole movie is just one big uh, fable itself I mean it's it felt like something straight up out of uh, the Grimm brothers Kinder und Hausmärchen you know those type of fairy tale gruesome fairy tales of the 19th century the most haunting imagery for me and this film is very evocative in terms of its imagery and its camera work one of the most haunting images for me which I am st it's still burnt in my brain and I think will now forever be burnt into the back of my brain uh, is the image of Borgman watching over the sleeping husband and wife so the husband and wife are in bed he is completely nude sitting on her chest while she's sleeping staring into her sleeping face and it's not at all sexual it is absolutely and entirely creepy and like that is the stuff nightmares are made of in fact I have actually heard of a fable a goblin I believe I don't know from what country this originates but I have heard of a goblin who sits on your chest at night and feeds you nightmares which is you know that is where nightmares come from and that is what this guy is he is the stuff nightmares are made of and the reason he's so nightmarish as well is because he's not acting out of any sense of retribution or justice he doesn't want anything he's just terrorizing this family for no socially acceptable reason I mean if this family had wronged him then maybe we would feel more sympathetic to why he is setting up this elaborate plan to tear them apart. Once I started approaching this film like it was more of a fairy tale then by the end I was like searching for that moral wisdom like what if it's a fairy tale and it's trying to warn you or teach you something you know like uh, Hansel and Gretel shouldn't have eaten the candy from the witch's gingerbread house but with this film I mean it is so open to interpretation that they're not gonna give it to you on a silver platter the message could be something as simple as don't invite creepy strangers into your house because they will sit on your chest while you're asleep and give you nightmares this is a difficult film to just say straight up that I enjoyed I mean like I didn't have a good time in it but at the same time I did enjoy what it was trying to say I mean it definitely grabbed me pulled me in in a very hypnotic and 
disturbing kind of way and had its claws in me and didn't let me go. I was in for the long haul and it was one of those situations where I wanted to look away but I just couldn't. And that is kind of what Borgman does to the family in this movie. The only similarity I can really draw is a German film from Michael Haneke called Funny Games. Another situation where people aren't following normal social codes like you would expect. People are doing things for no reason. And that is straight up scary. They are my thoughts on Borgman. It's on a very strictly limited release right now, but if you can find it and you're up for something a little bit out of your comfort zone maybe, then I definitely recommend you try and hunt it down. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my other movie reviews, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!